There was um, a conspiracy as well with yeah. this whole Twitter thing. Oh, uh, there's been a few. So there's been a few, but one of the biggest conspiracies is a lot of people have been posting that when they announced, uh, you know, Elon announced he's buying it or whatever, a bunch of people's follower counts went up by like 20, 30 all thousand the, or whatever. All the fucking Mine went up by a thousand. Really? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't confirm those numbers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could pull up the social <laughs> It blade. went up for we sure. We could pull up the social blade and see what's up. Well, but what? it's weird because all the the Democrat, like the libs are going down and the fucking... So the conspiracy, which I don't even know how you would have an other explanation for it. There's people, you know, it was like Tucker Carlson or something. If you look at his thing, it was like a thousand a day, a thousand a day, a thousand a day, 40,000 yeah, a day, yeah, a thousand like- a day. And so basically someone that was working at Twitter looks like they were, you know, cranking dials down. Yeah. Well, it's like mom and dad are coming home from vacation. You got to clean up after the party, you know? You know, they can't know you had this fucking party that you you had yeah. this fucking rager all weekend and mom yeah. and dad are pulling into the driveway and you're like, oh, <laughs> you fucking right. sweep, sweep, sweep. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it's, it's kind of like a Wizard of Oz scenario. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's one guy at Twitter that's just been sitting there cranking. There's a bunch of like analog dials, right? You know, like... <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> he has Tucker Carlson on a big dial where he goes, <laughs> he goes, boys, we need to get this thing cranked. He goes, no, 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 you can't turn that up anymore. You can't, it can't handle it. Star Trek. It's like no, it can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't take anymore. <laughs> they, they have the Fox News broadcasters turned down so low. They, yeah, yeah, but it's, it's other bolts things. are flying <laughs> off. <and laughs> yeah, shit. They're trying to turn Tucker Carlson and Stephen Crowder's Twitter back on. <laughs> we can't handle it. He goes, Elon's gonna be here by noon. <laughs> That's I wonder how that, I wonder, but that the only thing about that is the explanation is so why are people losing followers? Well, I guess, they, I guess they probably were just giving them followers. <laughs> they give them, they give them the Tucker Carls, and you add Tucker Carls, and you get Brian Stelter. Yeah, exactly, you <laughs> click on that. Well, there hasn't been a lot can't of people. Believe, can't believe it's not Tucker. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you see all the time. People have been saying forever ago, "Yeah, I follow you ten times, and I just keep." I'll tell you who that keep happening with the Crypt Daddy. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, not anymore. Not anymore. Crypt, Crypt Daddy has as many fucking followers as Elon Musk right now. Probably. <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> so it's, it goes without saying that you know everyone has their uh, you know the, this is a dystopian world that's basically Mad Max. You know what I mean? Yeah. These white men just cannot wait to get out there and say their slurs. They're just foaming the at the best, mouth. The number one thing was the guy on MSNBC. I don't know his name, but he like he came out and he said, you know. If uh, if one person's in charge of this, then you know they could just put in there. Oh, that guy was great. He goes, he goes. They could just you know turn up the reach of their guy of their party, and they could turn down the reach of another party, and then nobody will know until after the election's over. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you go. That's, that's kind of the point. People were accusing you. Of, yeah, 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 that's kind of what's going well, on. Well, that is the funny thing with all this stuff because I mean, <laughs> I feel they like play the- like a next level dumb though. He goes right, yeah, 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 yeah. But well, they're just like. Uh, you know, they go, well, he could uh, censor some speech and not other speech. He goes, yeah, but his whole thing is he plans to not. Yeah. So congratulations to Elon Musk. Yeah. A, a and cool once it's a private company, too. That's you know what really <laughs> scares them is because once it's really private, you lose all the oversight stuff. Oh. Like there's like, you know, you don't yeah, get to find so. out anything that's going on inside of there. They're, they're beholden to nobody. Yeah. Right. So they go, yeah, maybe we are fucking around. Well, the uh, truth social. Some of my favorite tweets were uh, the people. There was a. I, I picked three categories of tweets. So my favorite tweets and articles was the people that were sort of patting themselves on the back for what they did before they go. The people that because a lot of people were saying, you know, we need to leave Twitter. Like, you know, what I mean, that kind of stuff. Yeah, right? literally, Trump. Trump <laughs> elected moving to Canada. Trump elected moving to Canada. And then on top of that, so they were saying, this is them trying to get the troops back together because the troops are a bit deflated. And a lot of people were saying, like, guys, we fought a war together. You know, we're come on. We didn't get on here because we're here for the founders. We got on here to get Trump out of office. We succeeded in that. We are a team. And, and people and like they, people were giving other guys a pep talk of why they should stay on Twitter. <laughs> That was that was a good one. Like you don't know what we're capable together. You know what I mean. You want to know what's fucking patting, really patting themselves on the back. We saved democracy. We can't walk, and the guys are like, "I'm done." You know, I did my part, and the guys go, "You can't walk out. We we saved democracy, me and you." Dude, this whole Twitter thing, like you know, people are like, "Twitter's not real life" or whatever. And then Mm -hmm. I I was just in Miami for a few days with some boys from back home in Canada, and they're like, two of them don't like. This is like how little they go. I was like, "Yeah, I have like this podcast." They go, "Oh, what's your like?" They don't know anything. Well, none of my friends are like that. Yeah. yeah, Anyways, they're like they're they're, specific, dude. They're two of them. So there's four of my three of them. Maybe they're just playing you. No, no, no. They're dude. They're 
neither two of them have never ordered an Uber. Stop it. I swear to God. They don't have social media at all. They well, they no- probably live in the sticks and have They don't. Cars. They live in fucking downtown. They live in Toronto. Well, this is crazy. The One of them lives in fucking like- friends retarded? Was they're just a- like- <laughs> They just like on this- Big brother No, situation? they're both very smart. They just like miss this cutoff of so- where they never got on social media and they just like don't care. I feel like my they, fucking they literally- grandfather knows what Uber is. They know what it is. I'm saying they've never ordered one. All they right. know what Uber is. I was like, we went. Maybe to, that's because they, they don't want to be traced. No, they're just I, like they, I, they, 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 they know they go, that their Ubers are going to their email, which is being traced by their girlfriend. No, they're literally just shit. like we're, we're cab people. <laughs> they go with nothing wrong with cabs. <laughs> There's a lot wrong so, with them. I know call, that, especially when you yeah, it's, you have to call one. But it's so funny. They're just like so. They're so just like living in a different. That is nuts. It's crazy. Dude. Well, that's one. Uh, that's one genre of tweet that liked uh, another big one. And some, uh, you remember Jeremy Tagger, that guy, a big Canadian, yeah, like, yeah. He got our Lady Peace guy. Yeah, of course. He posted uh, he, what a million people are posting, but a couple of people sent me this. He goes, um, you know, uh, what he could be do instead of uh, spending money on this, he could have spent that money to solve hunger. And he goes, you know, who spends money? Who does that? Who doesn't spend money to solve hunger and instead buys a company? Someone who doesn't get laid. <laughs> So his thing is the richest man in the world can't get it's pussy. It's like eight kids. <laughs> oh, it's just funny being like. And wasn't didn't he have a fucking threesome <laughs> with Amber Heard? Yeah, he's didn't that come out. Day. But it's, how funny is it to be like the richest yeah. man in the world? You go, you probably don't get any pussy. Yeah, know? fucking buying Twitter for forty four billion dollars. That's little dick energy. <laughs> Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a bit, they go, that's little dick energy. But it's just funny. It was like, anybody, uh, uh, you go, I don't know how to tell you this. It's like, I'd like to live in the world too. Or you go, actually, girls don't fucking even like the richest man in the world. You go, I got news for you, pal. Uh, when you got billions and billions of dollars, the pussy you know, comes at you a little Billions? Hard. Well, it's it's like saying yeah, that yeah fucking, yeah you gotta have like well, it's like know. saying uh, you know well yeah who know who fucking uh, gets traded from like one NBA team to another probably doesn't even get any pussy you go yeah yes. unfortunately those guys are getting pussy uh, yeah. so it burst your bubble but what an idiot well then you go thing. hey the uh, you go hey there's forty million dollars you could have saved hunger or whatever and he's like I guess the guy he's already been through this or whatever where he, people try to get him saved but I'm always like. Well, why don't the people that just got the $40 million save the hunger 40, then? Well, that's the shareholders. $40 million. Dollars. $40 billion. Well, well they, what, they have the money now. Why don't the shareholders now? So I mean, also, I saw, I saw this hunger. where someone goes like, oh, like, you know, they're hunger or whatever. And you're like, yeah, I don't know. In Canada, this is a Canada specific, but like the CBC's budget's $1.6 billion. They do absolutely nothing. No, why don't they save hunger? Yeah, why don't they save? They could literally <laughs> probably eradicate hunger in like half the countries in the world if they wanted to. <laughs> yeah, why don't and they? And nothing save hunger? would be missed. Well, yeah, you always go. Well, I don't know. I didn't hear all you, you, all you'd miss is you wouldn't know like what the weather is in Capus Casing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And like that's it. Yeah. Well, why don't you save hunger with the only your guys? Yeah. Jeff Bezos. I liked how he was uh, getting in on being a Twitter guy. Yeah. He, he was sort of. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I they've that. seen the influence that kind of being a social media personality is wielding, and I think a lot of these guys. Uh, you know, and they're probably uh, 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 kind of the opposite of Tagger being like, you actually can probably get pussy by oh, all his followers, yeah, yeah. right? Oh. So uh, he basically posted, Bezos basically came out and he goes, Elon Musk uh, by Twitter, he's like, no, oh, maybe this is uh, not good for our position. It was China, you know, uh, yeah, or whatever, yeah. right? But then, like two hours later, he got cold feet on the tweet and then posted. <laughs> but Elon Musk is a smart guy, and I'm sure he'll do a good yeah, job. Handling it. I like the CEO of Twitter. He's the CEO of Twitter is the ultimate. Yeah, is the ultimate fucking Wojak meme with the crying behind, with the fucking happy on the outside. Oh, because yeah, he goes, yeah, he goes. Yeah. We welcome Elon Musk, and he's going to do all sorts of great things. He's like, yeah, I didn't know yeah, he he's going to accent. By the way, who? The the CEO. Oh yeah, I, I think it's from India. I mean, that's every CEO in Silicon Valley. Yeah, but. yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. But anyways, he was like, "Yeah, I welcome." And you're like, "No, you don't. This is your worst nightmare." What are you talking about? <laughs> he, who knows? I. That's what I'm saying. I really don't. You know, we know enough of these guys in that tech world to be like, they think they're almost like above partisan politics in any way. You know yeah. what I mean? Like these people. I, I bet you he was playing the game a little bit, but Who's who, that? who knows what these people actually think? You know oh, I, mean? I think he. I well, mean, even he, he Dorsey came out before, was like Mister Fucking. Let's get Trump off, and he was. He's even kind yeah. of like a decentralized crypto free speech guy. Now that he's, he was know, shitting on the. He was shitting this. on the board, being like, yeah, he he was kind of. He turned a bit. I think they saw the. I think it just became safe for Dorsey to shit on it. He goes like, I don't care. <laughs> well, I've, that's I've what all, I'm saying. All my money from Square. But who know. knows? Like, I mean, we know enough fucking like Indian tech dudes to be like behind closed doors. They. have you know, have a few, a bit of a different opinion than when they're on that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the microphone talking to the Silicon funny Valley board. If he just all of a sudden fucking Elon comes in, he's just wearing MAGA hats. He goes, this is the real me. <laughs> this is the real me. I have to hide. I'm in Silicon yeah, Valley. Yeah, you can put his wife in a burqa. <laughs> you go, hey, you know, I don't even know if he's Muslim, but. <laughs> well, yeah, there was a lot of leaked things. So the girls started crying from Twitter. 
she yeah. was doing her speech. The lawyer who was on Rogan with Tim Pool yeah. basically did a big uh, speech to everyone. She started crying, being. But just before this too, I was looking in Sagar, which I also s- cried. S- yeah, I was. I mean, it's sad. So, Sagar got um, uh, all these uh, reporters like because he posted, I guess, about it and uh, like something, some take, and then. Uh, all these reporters were like, would you like to comment? Cause she's like a private citizen. And are you worried about like, because your stuff and like, because of you, you're saying all this stuff that she's going to get uh, harassed. And he's like, she was on Joe Rogan. I think yeah, she's, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, she's yeah. not like a private. I think you're a little game. bit fair game now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you can like uh, make fun of her now. Well, vice. Uh, so yeah, they basically had the, you know, um, they, their big meeting and some stuff leaked about it or whatever. And then she was crying in the meeting. Vice had a really good uh, 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 article for what to do, which is blew my mind. Insane. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely insane. By the way, you must be really reassured as a, as a, like employee there when the fucking chick, she goes, everybody just don't panic as she's bawling. And you go, it's probably <laughs> not going to go well. If you're so crying. Crazy. She still has her good lawyer job. I don't know why the, some of those people that work there don't be like, to be completely honest, I bet you, my guess would be there. Uh, who knows what'll happen? But I could imagine that it's going to be probably, you know, that all the misinformation stuff might change a little bit. There might be that, uh, you know, there's not going to be any random big like political hits moving into the election. No. But as far as the harassment and bully stuff, the harassment and bullying policies probably won't change all that much. I don't think so at all. It'll just be like, hey, you could. Say I I took ivermectin and not get kicked off. Right. So all this stuff that people are really afraid of, because everyone's big critique is, you know, Elon Musk is going to make it easier for people to harass people. And you just go, that's probably not going to change much at all. No. And I mean, again, go on Twitter. It's, it's it might like just, tons of harassment. It, I don't, but that's what, what I mean. It, Twitter is. It might just make the harassment like the things that everyone else was getting kicked out for be like, yeah, you might get kicked off for that too. It's yeah. almost like it really is the people that had a past to harass maybe feel like they're, they're going to get their harassment pass taken away. Yeah, uh, it, for sure. I, I don't, I mean, it'll, I don't think it's going to be crazy, crazy changes, but it'll be, uh, I'm sure he'll do something cool with it. Thank you for watching that clip, supporting the channel. If you like the boys cast, there's a new episode every week at patreon.com slash the boys cast. That's patreon.com slash the, the boys, boys cast. cast.